In this lecture, we're going to start building the agent class. So open up your basic agent class that we've already created. At the top, we need to add in the link library. We'll be using that a little later for sorting our goals based on their priority. So it'll be system.link. Okay, we also need to add a little helper class at the top, which will define our goals. Now, usually in these systems, you can create just a single goal that the agent has, and the agent can go off and satisfy that goal and then come back. But in this case, we're going to create a whole bunch of goals that have sub goals, and that will make the system a little bit more flexible if you want the agent doing really complex tasks. So we'll create a public class for sub goal and it's going to be quite short but it's going to have a dictionary of course so public dictionary and it'll be the same structure that we've been using all along because we need to keep it very consistent and let's call it s goals in here and then we're going to also have a public bool remove the reason being is that some agents, you want to be able to give them a goal. When they've satisfied that goal, then the goal gets removed from their list of intentions that they want to do. So for example, in the case of the patient, the patient might need to be treated. So he's going to come in. Once he gets cured, he doesn't need to go through all those things again. And therefore that goal can be removed. But if you want a goal that keeps getting triggered over and over again, then you can create one that you're not removing after it has been satisfied. So for example, the nurse is going to have a goal of resting. So the nurse can go off and have a rest period during um, the work shift. Now that will keep coming up over and over again. So that's a goal we don't actually want to remove from the system after it's been satisfied. It's just going to be sort of like an idle goal until one of its conditions gets satisfied. Okay, so let's now create this. So public sub goal and we would pass through a string for our key value int i for its actual value and the bool r for remove then in here let's just set s goals equals a new dictionary for our string and our int and s goals dot add the one we're passing through so s and I and then we're also going to do remove is going to equal whatever R is when it's passed through. Now the agent itself is going to have a list of actions and a list of goals and those sorts of things. So let's at the top first of all declare a public list of G actions and the G action will be the actions that we've given our agent to achieve. So here we have action, and that's going to equal a new list of G actions, or action, singular, don't put an S in there. And then we also need a lot of goals. So it's going to be a public dictionary of dictionaries. So basically it's a dictionary of sub goals which are basically another dictionary um, int for our value goals equals new dictionary and then we want sub goal and int and then we need a planner so we'll call it g planner planner we haven't actually created the planner yet but this is going to be our class that goes off and does the planning given the goals. What it's going to return is a queue of the actions. So we're going to use queue in here. So it'll be a queue of G actions or G action. Let's call that our action queue. And then a public G action for the current action. So we can keep track of what the agent is doing at any particular time. And then also the same thing for the goal. So sub goal, and that will be the current goal. And we will record that. Now in the start 
we have to create our array of actions. We're going to make this so that for our agent, you can create versions of the G action class up here and just drop them on to the agent in the inspector, which means that we need to pick them up when the agent starts working and they're all going to go into an array. So G action, and let's call this acts equals this dot get component G action. And not only do we want one action, but we'll be able to put a lot of actions on there. So it's actually get components. So all the G actions that are sitting on the agent will get picked up and put into that acts. Then what we're going to do is for each G action A in acts, we're going to put that into our actions list. So actions.add A. Kind of a similar thing that we did with our actions where we were creating these public arrays that would come up in the inspector and then we were populating our dictionaries with those down in the awake. But in the agent, we're doing that inside of the start method here. All right, so now that we've got our start, we've picked up our actions, we still actually do need to declare our G planner. Now I noticed that our actions here, I probably should just put a little S on the end up there to make sure that we've got our list named the same thing down into our start. Okay, and then what we're going to do to run the action, so the agent will run through the plan that it's given up here, and that will happen down here in a late update. So let's make our update a late update. And for now, we're going to leave it empty because we need to work on this planner. So the planner is going to get the goals that are needing to be satisfied, a list of the actions that we have available to us, as well as the world states. And from there, it's going to build a tree of all of the actions. So you're getting essentially a graph. And that graph, we then search through the graph from one end to the other, where we come up with a plan that's going to satisfy the given goal. The planner is quite complex code. So I'm going to leave that until the next video so that we can dedicate the whole entire thing to the structure of the planner and how it puts together the actions that will satisfy the goals. If you'd like to support our work, like us on YouTube, visit our website, holistic3d.com, look for our courses on holistic3dlearn.com or support us on Patreon.